Hey there, it's John Dreamin, and I'm back in my bee yard on June 1st. And look at the difference a month makes. So I was here a week ago, and I decided to split hive three into two. So I took the queen and half the comb out of three and put it in five. Let's see how they're doing. Not much activity here. And the original high three, which is queenless now, is really active. And high uh, six over here should be active as well. Yeah, a little bit of activity. There's five is still looking pretty quiet. Anyway, the plan today is to have a look at hive three and uh, see if we have any queen cells being raised. I, I'm going to uh, insert a little clip here and show you the, uh, the the comb with all the eggs in it that I prepared for the bees to raise queens on. And um, and immediately after that clip. Immediately after that clip, I'll show you what it looks like right now. And I'm hoping that uh, I've got two combs in there with eggs, so I'm hoping that they'll both have queen cells, and then I'll take one of them and two or three combs from three and split it into a into a new into this little hive body here, and then take it home for a month or so, and then bring it back here and put it in one of the empty hives. All right, so let's get started. So here's the comb that I want to use um, uh, for raising the queen. It's not the greatest because you can see there's a lot of hatched eggs already all the way down to here and in here I can see them. So there's just some young eggs around the perimeter. So I'm going to use this magnifying glass to find them. And then I'm going to cut the comb. I'm going to cut along the cells that have eggs so that the bees can make the cells larger, large enough to raise a queen in. So the more that I cut, uh, the better the chance. And I like using new comb like this, fresh comb, because I can see the eggs much better, and then really dark, dark comb. So like there's no egg here at all, but right next to it there is, so I just cut along like this. Not the easiest thing to do. Well, basically, there's, let's see, eggs here, here. Really hard to see. Oh, that's larva. There's eggs. And eggs here. So I'm going to cut in one row in. <coughs> that should do it. Like that. Remove that. Hopefully it, it's the same on the other side, but I'll check it later. All right, let's open her up. And uh, this, this, so these are the two combs with eggs, hopefully with queen cells now. Ooh, lots of bees everywhere. That's nice. Let's give them some smoke. I think I'll set the camera down at this point. There we are. So you can see what I'm doing. Oh, we got fresh comb drawn right out to here. That's fresh comb. coming up to the home with hopefully with queen cells. Let's find out. Hmm. 
No, they did not raise queen cells for me. Oh, yes, they did. There's one right there. So let's see. It's not. It's not closed yet. And I don't know if there's anything in there. Hopefully there is. Anyway, let's see what else we got. Now this one should have queen cells. And yes we do, we have. We have one here, another one, two, three. Three queen cells there. Uh, nothing on this side. Nothing on the bottom. So there you go. So we got three, no, four, two more down at the bottom there. Oh, no, 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 there is one at the bottom. See that? Right there. Queen cell. And they're closed. They're capped queen cells. These ones here. So there's one, two, three, four there. And one there. So what I'll do is I'll cut one of these out. Maybe the one on the bottom. And uh, stick it on this other comb. Put it on this comb. And then use this to split. To make a split. So there should be two. Yeah. So there's one there. One right here. And then the one will attach to it. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. So here's my handy dandy stand. I get a knife. Okay, so we're going to cut this one out here. Not that easy to do. Here it comes. There we go. All right, so then we're going to put this. On to this one. No, the next one. Hold on, so I'll put these back. So we're done with that. Put that back. Take this one out. Okay, then we're going to make room for this. So I'll put it here. Looks like a good spot. Don't actually have to make room. Just stick it right in there. Nice. So now we got two queen cells. See, we got one here now. I don't know if there's anything in there. It doesn't look, look like it, but who knows. And that one for sure looks good. Now we can do a split based on this. So we're going to take this. And put it in the box here. <coughs> then we'll take, uh, we'll take this comb. It has lots of nectar, so that's food for the, for the bees. While they raise new, while they raise new bees. So I got those sitting there. Uh, let's see, I might take... Okay, well, I'll take one more comb here. I'll take this comb, this looks good. 
Or maybe I'll take one with uh, some cat brood because there isn't much here at all. This is just food, so. Okay, so let's see if we can find further back here. Find a comb with lots of cat brood. I'm going to leave that one here because it's up against this one with the queen cells. And this one's on the other side of the comb with the queen cells. So, let's see what we got here. Not much there. A little bit of brood. There's not going to be a whole lot of brood left because well, you know we don't have a laying queen here. So let's see. What we got to work with. This is not bad. Okay, we'll give them this one. So there's so that. That goes on the other side. The other side of the uh, comb with the queen cells. So I got a spacer here, a uh, comb with some nectar, and a uh, comb with the uh, queen cells, and then a comb with cat brood. So that should be enough. So I'll close that up and uh, call it a split. Take it home with me. The entrance is closed here with a screen for safe transport. I'll close this up and call it a day. Or maybe we'll just shake a few bees in here, actually, come to think of it. We should shake some bees in here. So, give them some extra bees to work with. There. There we go, some extra bees. Maybe a few more. Now we got lots of these. That should be good. Alright. I'm going to close this up. Looks like, looks like I need one more. There we go. Pretty much closed up. Okay, and I'm going to close this up. some extra uh, extra bars to fill this gap here. Okay, there we go. And what well, doesn't quite fit. Anyway, we'll sort this out. Okay, so that's it. So there's my split. I'll take it home. And uh, once it uh, once it becomes strong I'll uh, film it again and bring it back here and put it in one of these empty hive bodies. Alright, so until next time, see ya.